What is fracking? How did you get into it? What's the story here? Yeah. Well, I didn't get into it. I got put into it. Yeah. Hydrofracking is short for uh, hydrofracturing, which is a, a, a means of getting natural gas out of rock formations buried deep underneath the ground. And where is this taking place? This takes place right now. They're focused on the Marcellus Shale Formation, mm -hmm. which is a massive shale formation that's millions of years old, and it runs from um, the Appalachians all the way through Pennsylvania, up and through New York. Mm -hmm. So they drill down and then they drill out. Okay. To get that rock to stay open, mm -hmm. once they fracture it, mm -hmm. they have to use a fracking solution that's water-based, and that water all comes from the Delaware River Basin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's our drinking water. You know, so they're allowed to circumvent that. There's, they're gonna get the gas out of the ground as cheaply as possible. Right. That's right. what's going on right. here. Right. So uh, it's not that I'm opposed to, to getting it out, it's just uh, the way that we're doing it is awful. Are so the chemicals are either carcinogens or endocrine disruptors, right? Yeah, that's what somehow keeps the rock mm -hmm. open. What kinds of chemicals? That's the thing. So because of the Bush Energy Act, these companies uh, get to circumvent the Clean Water Act of 73. Yeah. They don't have to uh, abide by any of those laws. The way every other industry, right. because, it's en because it's energy, and the energy, Bush's Energy Act was supposed to make it easier for energy companies. Yeah. Wow. And so that, and then they, the other thing they hide behind is the fact that these solutions are proprietary. So it's like Coca-Cola like saying secret. they don't want to say what the secret ingredient is. But the truth is they're all using the same one. It isn't a big secret. There's benzene and it's been tested. They don't have to supply any list at all? Uh, they have voluntarily, but no, they don't. And even in the voluntary list, they've left out a few key chemicals, and they've been tested. And known, they've been revealed to be known carcinogens. This is probably the most short-sighted action that we could take since, like, dropping the bomb. Imagine if the New York City water supply went bad. I mean, bad the way it's shown to go bad in like Dimmick, PA, and out west, where there are people who cannot drink their water. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. New York City would literally cease to exist. All this, all this infrastructure, everything we've done here, if you couldn't drink the water, bathe mm -hmm. in the water, you would have to leave. The Sawyer study, for example, is a legitimate peer-reviewed cumulative impact study that was released, and they came out saying that uh, fracking was so dangerous that it should be uh, banned from all New York City um, DEP lands, which is basically all our reservoir lands. Mm. The Delaware River Valley mm -hmm. supplies the drinking water to all of New York City, Philadelphia, and a huge part portion of New Jersey. How long does it take for New York City's drinking water to become corrupted if nobody responds? If the drilling moves medicine, forward yeah. and New York State removes the, right now there's a there's a temporary ban. It lifts in mm -hmm. May, by the way. Job. How long though? I would say, uh, I'm not, a, I'm, I'm being totally serious. I would say within five to 10 years. So the water becomes contaminated with, I mean, high levels of, of carcinogens and endocrine disruptors? Five and 700 times um, federal approval. Uh, it's just sheer poison. It's absolute poison. Yeah. It's not sort of or kind of. Yeah, it's or just poison. It will kill you. Mm -hmm. They're carcinogens. Right. Has to come down to regulation. This, mm -hmm. this, the, the government is going to have to step in. Mm -hmm. right. If every New York City resident went in and did the com into this comment period before the fifteenth, if every or if half of New York City's residents wrote in, I'm telling you something would happen. That was without a doubt a fact. If you're not living in the tri-state region. This there's shale formations all over the country, um, and they're just gonna they're gonna move on from here. Well, first of all, there's a couple things you can do. One is the the public comment period ends on the fifteenth of this month. No, of April. April. April fifteenth. That's the final out. So mm -hmm. everyone should should go online. The other thing you can do is give money to Damascus citizens. This, you know, if anybody feels like chaining themselves to like the DRPC building, mm -hmm. that they kind should of get stuff. in touch with you. Yeah. Okay. All right. Ben Younger. Thanks, Susie.